Hello. What I'd like to do now is show you how to make rye icing, but using a machine. So the ingredients are the same as when we made rye icing by hand, but we're going to use larger quantities. So I've got some silver spoon icing sugar, and I've just opened it, and it's very fine. It hasn't been stored very long, so I know I don't need to seal it because it's done free. Um, the quantity is three kilo bag. I'm also going to use um, an egg white substitute, in this case Mary White, and I'm going to use 75 grams. So 75 grams of Mary White to three kilo bag of icing sugar. The water I will need is um, 500 millilitres, and that can be weighed or measured in the jug. Okay, so I'm just going to weigh out the Merry White, put the scale to zero. And weighing out 75 grams. Now, of course, it depends on how much rye icing you need to the quantity. But this quantity will um, be very suitable for a smaller mixing bowl. Still using the hair bar for a smaller mixing bowl. If you, you may be asked to do double the quantity, so that would be two bags of ice and sugar, 150 grams of Mary White, and for that you need a larger mixing bowl. So, that's my Mary White. Okay, I've got my Mary White, and I've got my water measured out. I'm going to put the two together. I need a whisk, and I need to whisk it. So just mixing it in to start with. I need the Mary White to dissolve into the water. Now ideally, I would leave this to stand for 15 minutes for it to be totally dissolved. Now the only problem with that is if I leave it for 15 minutes, um, I, I could leave this and do another job. It's very quite often I'll need it straight away. So if I sieve it, I'll get rid of any lumps that remain. A good mix. Leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. Or the alternative is to use a sieve. So place it on the bowl and pass the water through. And if any lumps remain then those lumps will be caught in the sieve. And if there are any lumps in your rye lysine, it will block the tubes off, which is not what you want. So I've got my icing sugar. As I said, I've only just opened this nice fine icing sugar, so I don't need to see this. If I was using an ice, a bag of icing sugar that's been open a while, I'd definitely see this, just as you prevent those little bits of um, lumps. Now, when you do tip it into here, to the mixing bowl, you want to cause the least um, cloud of icing sugar as possible. So just take it in your hand, so just take it in my hand, tip it in the bowl. I'm still holding it, and then just very slowly, let the icing sugar come out. And that's the best way to pour the least cloud of icing sugar, which obviously you'd be breathing in. So that can be Now, if you can see, the icing sugar's there, many rice um, mixed in with the water's there as well. Now, the only problem is if I put this in the machine straight away, all that icing sugar will fly up everywhere and um, it's not going to look very good. So I'm just going to mix it, just by hand a little bit, until the, the ice and sugar's a little bit mixed in with the, the liquid. Hopefully you've watched the demonstration about how to use this machine. Okay, so you can see there, it started to mix through. I'm looking for this part of the machine, and that's going in the hole here. So pop that 
in first and then just sit it in. Give it a little shake to make sure it's not moving. The tool that I'm using on this machine is a beater. You would not use a whisk for making rye icing. If you put a whisk on, too much air would be incorporated into the rye icing and then it would be difficult to pipe with, it would be difficult to use. So it's definitely a flat beater. Place it on. Make sure the guard's across. Perhaps if you switch it on. Check your timing. We need six minutes. So six minutes we should give us some nice rye lighting. And always check the speed. Before you turn the machine on, check the speed. Always, always throughout making rye lighting is speed one. Never be tempted to move to speed two. And then that should work. just need to leave that. I will check it after six minutes to see if the consistency is right. So this rye icing now has been mixing for roughly six minutes. So I'm going to take it um, off and have a look. So I'm looking for a consistency called peak consistency, piping consistency. And I can see, let me just show you, that, that looks looking pretty good. And you can see there, there is holding the peak. So I know I can pipe with that and it'll hold the shape of whatever I'm piping. It's not too stiff, so I know it's not going to break the bags as I'm piping. Now, if I feel this and I haven't got that peak consistency, it's flopping over, I need to add some more icing sugar. So, more ice and sugar, put it on the machine and let it mix through. If you do that, you'll need to scrape down the bowl because you'll find the ice and sugar will come around the sides and then just put it back on the machine and mix it through. If the rye icing feels a bit stiff, then you can add a little bit more of the uh, powdered egg white mixed in with the water. Just a touch and that help you get the right consistency. It, you really need to feel the consistency of the rye icing. It needs to be um, the right consistency for the job you're doing. Um, and this is going to be used for piping, so this is perfect. So once I've made the rye icing, I need to leave it covered so that it doesn't dry out. So scrape down any rye icing you've got around the edge. You need the cling film. Cling film the rye icing. And then put a damp, and I've just dampened that. So I put it under the tap and made it it's quite damp. That can go over the top. If I'm not going to use this today, and I was going to use it perhaps tomorrow, I would then cover that again in tin film. And that would just stop the cloth drying out. And I'd actually put a plastic bag over it. 